What is your first impression after having seen the documentary this year? Well, I think that uh, there is a certain movement in this time, that people have a certain interest in the spiritual area. So I think uh, that is one of the major reasons why uh, the film has been such a success at the cinema. There's something when you see the film, you get some nuances and you get to watch this person and this journey that Lars is going through. And you get to understand more and more layers. And uh, I think it's a film that you can really watch okay, over and over. I think it's a you know story continuing, and every time you read the book and see the movie, you get uh, kind of deeper, uh, yeah, some new thing with you. I'm actually very, very moved. It's it's almost like a heart opener. I, I think it's almost like an energetic experience. I sat completely still throughout the whole movie, uh, with my hands just getting warmer and warmer. So something was happening. It was really, um, and maybe also because, yeah, it was so honest and not glossy. I felt as if the seer was transmitting, even after his death, to me in the cinema. And I felt a lot of energy points in my own body being activated. We need to learn from a, from a person like him. We need to learn from the big writers. We need to learn from the big philosophers, from all sorts of religions. We need to really study the past so we can understand the present and also the future. The best part of it is that it's delivered in such a uh, eatable manner, so it's very entertaining, but at the same time it's really, really enlightening. The seer, hearing his voice and sort of feeling who the man actually was, it's, it's really, really powerful. Um, but mostly it's it's the images, you know, the views over the mountains and the music also is very fascinating. It's, it's really a wonderful experience.